What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. This one is episode, I believe we're up to episode 6? Maybe episode 7. Uh, of Nightmares from the Deep, The Siren's Call. This is the second series, or the, the second game in the series. Uh, and we have... Basically, last episode, we are just working on solving a bunch of puzzles and progressing forward. There wasn't too much uncovered with the story or any kind of backstory or anything. Um, we kind of have most of the backstory, I think. So, it's kind of more just figuring out some of the nuances to that story. Uh, like, how Calliope uh, may have been taken and that sort of thing. Um, so, our main goal is we're aiming to progress underground to... Uh, through this labyrinth, which I believe is behind this door. Uh, so in order to do that, we've got to assemble this gun at uh, the blunderbuss. Uh, we've got a couple of other things. We need a torch in order to uh, be able to see in the labyrinth, otherwise we will probably get lost. Uh, I don't know if it'll allow us to even go in there without it. So we have to assemble the torch as well. We got these codes that we deciphered from uh, like these using these cool deciphering plate things uh and yeah so and we also have to get the last matrix piece so we got a few things that we got to get done in this episode uh, so let's but first we're going to assemble this because hell yeah so grab this and this goes on the front trigger goes underneath the butt stock and then we... Oh, we have to put gunpowder in first. Can I put this down? Yep. Put oh, save some powder. And let's make sure that's all good in there. Bada bing, bada boom, we got a blunderbuss. So now the question is, what do we use this on? lock. Boom! And we lost our gun. Alright, so we also have these guys to worry about. Ah, uh, those pesky... Better chase them... Wait. I better chase them out with a puff of dust. With a puff of dust? All right. Let's have a look in here. What do we got? Uh, I can scrape off some dry tar. Perfect. All right, so we got, I think we have everything. Hey, we got a Mayan calendar. Ah, uh, so what are we assembling? It's gonna be like a propeller or something? I can't see it. Something have to move. Oh, I clicked too much. No. It's blue, but I don't know if that means. We have to move something. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Where is it? You just scan with my eyes. There it is. Oh, I'm missing. What am I missing? This. All right. Oh, bellows. All right. Ah, right, we need to get that skull. Get out of here. Anything else? Fish curse. I love our noble way. Oh, wait. Noble mayor. I love our noble mayor as much as any other Praetorian. Yes, I remembered how to say it. Uh, ask whomever you like. I know that he acted under great pressure, and his deal with Davy Jones saved us from poverty and ruin. And that he is a. Wait, and that he is a terif terrific chap. Hold on. And and that he is a terrific chap and leader. But I got to tell you, this fish curse is is hideous. It wrapped us in only wait, it it warped us in only a few days, changing our facial features into horrific masks that resemble deep sea creatures. Our fingers are connected by webbing, our necks decorated with gills. I can't even look at myself anymore. I mean, to be fair, I would be like, this is dope as hell. Do the gills work? Can you like swim underwater? Man, that would be sick. Uh, we started to, uh, we started to inspire loathing in the townspeople and keeping them keeping them in check no matter how wait hold, hold on, hold on. I'm not I'm not understanding we started to inspire loathing in the townspeople and keeping them in check no matter how rough didn't help much wait no matter how roughly didn't help much the girls looked at us working us hard-working Praetorians with disgust you mean to tell me not a single one was into fishmen? Wow. Uh, we are con <laughs> we are condemned to a solitary life under the. So not everyone was turned into uh, into fishmen. Only some. Is what the fish curse started in eighteen eighty nine, or that's when the mayor kind of took over I think so what we kind of worked out that we're in modern day time so that's like at least a hundred and hundred and something years ago um, so it doesn't make them live longer are we are we condemned to a solitary life under the mayor's orders the mayor meta the mayor's metamorphosis was the worst now he looks like a giant angry shark wait so was he not in control of that maybe it's the hmm okay so maybe it's like the siren herself transforming them because they're bad people Maybe she doesn't even know. Interesting. Uh, hope. Lately I heard that the curse has started has started to affect the townspeople too. Maybe soon I'll have a chance with the girls again. <laughs> Classic. Of course. So maybe Ah, huh, I don't know. What did it just does it just spread? Very interesting. Okay. 
I understand, right? So, to... Something else goes here. Oh, tar. Huh? What? I need to turn. I should turn on the gas. There's no gas. I should check. I should check the oven and find out what's wrong. We got this cable. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Wait, I should check the oven and find out what's wrong with the stove. Well, I already figured it out. We got we got a hornet's nest. got this out of this. It's not that. Okay. Let's put this in here. Um... Okay, so this has to go here. So forget like it has to go over there. Okay. Uh. There, we like this. Okay, um, easy clap. Hello. can't go in here because we don't have a torch. But we need some gas. I'm assuming. <laughs> Alright. Boom. Now we can turn it on. I better light it before we explode stuff. Pop the tire on there. Then we. Should wrap that around this. Sells a torch.
Aha, uh -huh. okay, so we got these symbols. So... Use the dagger on Nope. I need to know where I'm heading. Oh wait, go back. Hold on. Oh, I see. So is this gonna So this tells us where we go, so right leads to what? Who's that? Oh, these are different. Okay, so we have to go to, okay, so we go straight and then we go to What's that? Okay, so it goes this, this, that, 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 that. Right. And then we go to fire. Straight. And then we go to this one. And then we go to this one. Actually, I want to go back. I want to see what happens if we go the wrong way. This is no time for guessing. I have to know precisely where I'm going. But this is fun of this way. This is no time for guessing. Oh, okay. I have to know all right, chill, chill. I was curious, all right? And then we go this way. Right. Left. Towards the swords on the right. And this way. Graveyard shift. All right, we don't want to strip the heads of the bolt or of the of the screws. Fair enough. So we're going to connect that to that. What have we got over here? Oh! What a stroke of luck. I could have been the one to receive shock treatment. <laughs> okay, so okay, so we have to disconnect that. And then we connect it to the barrel and have it explode. Alright. Take that. Seem pretty easy. Boom. I managed to overload the grid. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I knew Whoa. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> You'll have to make your way through this horrible. Man, why are you so creepy? Prison where Calliope is being held is in the base of the lighthouse. But our work's not done once you save her. 
We need to open the cursed chest in which Murray hid the source of her power over the crack. What if this guy is I don't evil. know where the chest is. I don't say. You found it. That's amazing. I'll secure the chest and bring it here before Murray finds out. One more thing. You. Praetorians talking about vengeful ghosts lurking around the halls. Be careful. We'll see each other soon. All right. Well, you bring me the chest then, I guess. Oh, I saw a ghost. Alright, so where were we? So, cemetery entrance, we're right here. Okay. Hello there. You'll pay for what you did to us, Murray. Oh no, it wasn't me. What is this? A starter cord. An empty fuel can. Uh, what was that? The oil. Me. Okay, so we need to put fuel in there and then we... What? And then we start her up. Alright, so we got this cork on here. So I need a bottle opener. Or like a cork thingy. That's a big fuel tank made out of metal and they've they've corked it. <laughs> I see ya. Let's head on up. Maybe there's something out here we can find. Hmm. Was an old mate going down here? Oh yeah, we need to to do this as well. Okay. Um we need to find like a bottle opener. Or your cemetery entrance. Oh, there must have been something we missed at the cemetery. Actually, can we like go straight there? Oh we can! Okay, yeah, so that's that. What's in here? Aha! Take that as well. Not sure what that is, but I'll take it. Tube. Siphon it. Let's fill her up. Ooh. I see a book. A red book. We need the knob. We got a red book. Oh, that's for the, the shelf. Hello. What's the time? 
A new objective, so we need to get another clock face. Before we can do this, okay. So we got a few things to get now. Oh, I see an octopus. What's up here? Ah, I could tie something to this metal beam to climb up to the other wreckage. Try that open too. Toothpaste. Ah, uh, we need this. We're gonna we're gonna chain all of these clothing items together. Rule of four. Aren't we resourceful? An improvised rope. Come here, ghost. Any other things? Murray, you've sentenced us to death at the hands of your Praetorians. Uh, we need to find the dial I could crank this safe wait if if I find this safe dial I can crack the safe by means of stethoscope but I need a stethoscope as well what you just you just happen to know how to do that? Cables, okay. Somehow turn on this radio. Right, we need another another missing cable. Harpoon gun. Okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna harpoon the kraken. Right, let's do this guy. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, do we have to make a face? Oh, no, that, okay, so together they are to make this, so yellow has to be here. Uh, red has to somehow join this. Look, whee! <laughs> oh! I wonder how they code that. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, green. Green is the claw. So we'll connect him there. And then blue is the leg, which is... Um, this. Okay, so then this connects to... That? That one and then obviously we've got the yellow next to this guy no we've got the eyes we just need like that bit oh unless this goes here and then oh, let's connect this first uh what are we missing Missing the top part. Oh, 
Boom. There we go. All right, made a hermit crab. Mayday. This is the captain of the Albatross. Mayday. Uh oh. The tides carried us near some forsaken island of the Caribbean Sea. You. Do you hear me? Call the Coast Guard. We need help. Our hull is badly damaged, and it looks like something has broken our propeller. Some passengers claim to see something unusually large beneath the surface. Everyone is scared. Without the propeller, we're stuck here. We don't know what's going on. We have wounded on board. Signal for help. Mayday. Oh, damn. <laughs> Kraken has already stopped the ship. It won't be long before Murray will try to attack and rob the ship. <laughs> what the? I have to hurry. Why the thing break, though? All right, well, the Kraken has grabbed hold of the ship. We've got a limited amount of time to save them. And we unlock this. Alright, okay. Well, we have once again come to the end of another episode. Uh, yeah, this one was more puzzle solving. We got a little bit of story and stuff, but mainly it's like progressing. We're just kind of progressing forward now with our main goal of stopping the Kraken. Uh, so we're getting there. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, uh, definitely leave a like and all that sort of stuff. If you're enjoying the series and uh, I'm, I'm not sure how far through we are. I think this is episode 6, so we last last time it was 10, 10 episodes, so we're just past halfway, I think. Um, so, what do you guys think of the story so far and the game so far? Are you guys enjoying it? I'd definitely love to know down in the comments below. Um, so, definitely leave a comment, all that sort of stuff. If there's any kind of puzzles that in this uh, in this episode were useful, if you're playing along at uh, uh, playing along as well. Um, and yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's where. We've moved away from the town, and we're now in like more technology stuff. That's that's what I was saying about uh, the different environments, and it was it was even the same in the previous game, where we're getting just a lot, just such a great variety of different areas and environments to explore. It was really cool. Like uh, the last game, we had the pirate ship. Oh, we hit we we had the museum first, then we had the pirate ship. And then we had all the different uh, rooms on the pirate ship. Then we had the island. And then we also went over to the lighthouse. We had the cave. We had the the, uh, the crypt and all that sort of stuff. So many like really cool locations that we, we got to visit. And it's the same in this. We're now on some uh, more modern day... Uh, more modern day ship. We got radios and stuff. Uh, we have like a haunted uh, kind of... It's almost like a wasteland kind of environment here. So, yeah, we're getting more, even more diverse um, environments to explore, and it's it's awesome. I love. I just I don't. That's what I love about uh, adventure games and stuff is the different environments. That's uh, one of the the games that I grew up. Uh, that was my favorite game to play. It was actually a couple of different games, but uh, games like Crash Bandicoot you'd get to explore these different worlds like uh especially in number two and number three in the warp room it would uh you would travel to like snowy areas or uh caves or temples or uh, deserts or like there's just so much variety and that's what i love about adventure games is just 
the sense of exploration, going to different places, and just getting this, like, um, just the, the visuals that are just so vast and different. I, I just, I love that kind of aspect to adventure games. And although this is, like, not, like, a big kind of open world type of adventure game, it's still a, an adventure story. So we get these different locations and these interesting uh, places to explore. And I, I love that. I love that aspect to these sorts of games. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this series so so far. Oh, oh I seen it. Uh, I saw it before it faded away. We got it. So yeah, if you if you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, please uh, definitely leave a comment. I'd love to hear hear what you guys think. Have you played it and all that sort of stuff? Um, but yeah, so in the next episode we have uh, a harpoon gun. So we're probably gonna battle the kraken, maybe. Um. I'm not sure. I, we might end up using it on something else. Uh, but we got the book. We got to put that in the bookshelf. And then we got to get ourselves the last Matrix piece. For whatever this does. Uh, for the printing Matrix. So yeah, we got a couple of things to do. Uh, we're, we're making our way through the game. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Nothing else more to say. Just thank you guys so much for watching. And... Until the next episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when that episode is uh, live for you guys to watch. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.